uh, I probably think I need to excel throughout the plays and, you know, just execute, stay consistent throughout the week. But uh, I probably just, you know, I'm a, I know I'm a young guy, so I know I'll improve throughout the years as well. So, uh, Are there some pinch yourself moments like I'm a freshman and I'm out here playing or is, do you not think about that or uh, how exciting is it to be out there so early? Uh, typically when I'm out there, I don't really think that I'm, you know, a freshman. I'm just out there flying around trying to play, you know, with the big, big kids. So, you know, that's really all I think. What are the challenges of this team that you're playing this week? They score a lot of points. Their offense has been on fire. Uh, what are you guys going to have to do in this game? I you know, just execute the job. That's what Coach really uh, emphasizes on is executing the job is what we're trying to do to, in today's practice as well. Obviously, they're playing a lot of safeties, trying to uh, you know get the right combination. Coach Kelly's talked a little bit about you know the coaches kind of learning their personnel, I guess. What are they communicating to you as far as you know getting out there on the field and kind of just playing loose, you know, and, and trying to, to show what you're capable of? Uh, we have a mix of safeties. Me and uh, Jordan Gilbert playing at uh, Rover right now. Uh, you know, we both have attributes that fit the, the scheme well. So you know, we just rotating in. Uh, you know. Well, it looks like we're going to talk to Trey Des after we talk to you. So. What do you see at him? Obviously, another young guy right from the area that's coming in and trying to trying to find his way. Uh, me and him we actually played on 707 together, so uh, playing with him was actually pretty fun. You know him, Moss and old people. Seeing now, I was like, yeah, we really gotta get this dude at LSU with us. You know, seeing him at practice, he's you know he's gonna be great. Yeah. What, as far as the speed of the game, you know, going from high school to college, is it something that's you know you were noticing right away? Is it something that you're getting used to now? Yeah. Yeah, speed of the game, it gets fast, but, you know, when you know what you do, want to know what to do, and, uh, you know, like I said, stay consistent throughout your keys and stuff, it'll, it'll slow down eventually. A lot of the talk this week will be about Harold not being there, right? So what are you guys talking about in the locker room about as far as, you know, everybody, it's going to take 11 people to kind of, you know, fill that void? Uh, you know, Harold's out. It's a sad situation, but, you know, the bus moves on. So we've got uh, backers moving into that position. You know, the bus moves on, so we uh, just going to keep rolling. You've gone on the field a lot as a freshman. What's kind of been your biggest learning curve? Like, whether it's, you know, class schedule, all that, like, freshman year football, what's been your biggest thing you've had to adjust to? Uh, I'd probably say my biggest thing is have, you know, a routine. That's, that's my biggest thing is have a routine. So throughout the week, I'll do the same routine, routine throughout since I got here, I'm doing the same routine. Who, <coughs> excuse me, who's helping you? kind of learn the ropes, like who have you really latched on to, who's latched on to you to kind of show you the way and, and what it means to be a college football player? Uh, it would be Jacoby Stevens. Yeah, he's really helped me throughout, since I got here, like probably like the third day I got here, we was doing drills and stuff. You know, he, he really seen the uh, potential that I had, so he really showed me the ropes. <coughs> who's your position coach? Uh, Jake. Jake Olson. Jake Olson. Yes, sir. So he's a guy that we don't really talk a lot about, right? Corey gets a lot of the secondary love, I guess. What what kind of uh, coach is, is Jake for the safeties right now? And, and, like, how do you feel like his messaging is getting across? He's a great coach. I really love uh, Coach Jake. He's a real smart guy. Anything you need, go to talk to him. He's going to get you right. So. Going back to Perkins, who do you feel like has really stepped up in that leadership role on the defense? Uh, probably Witt. He's, he's Witt and Greg, they really stepped up in that uh, role, uh, coming on the field to the, in today's practice, you know, stepping up in that role. We're seeing them throw the ball around on offense. You have to see them in practice, right? How good is it to see Kyle get involved, to see Aaron get involved? Really, I think nine different dudes caught balls this past weekend. Mm -hmm. You know, as far as the offense spreading it around and getting everybody involved, I know, I know you're going up against them, but yeah. are you excited when they have success? Yeah, I, you know, we all a team at the end of the day. Uh, iron sharper than iron. So when you know I seen them catch balls on us, you know we gotta get it right. But I know they're gonna go out on uh, Saturdays and execute. So it's really fun to see. Any one guy like standing out to you that you like to to go up against or like you know match up with? It'd probably be Trey Dead. Yeah. Yeah, I like you know he like I said iron sharper than iron. So he wins some reps, I win some reps. At the end of the day, we're getting better. What does he do well? Uh, he's he's really good at you know lots of people, yeah. so and I, I I'm a pretty big safety as well. So going against taller safeties and bigger safeties, I think that can help me in my oh, advantage. 
couple more for Deshaun, guys. Is there a certain amount of pride you take when you're local and playing for LSU? Oh, yeah, it's a, it's a whole lot of pride being here. I moved here when I was about nine. So watching LSU football, the 2019 football team, uh, you know, Jacoby Stevens, Grant Delpit, watching them play, fly around, I just want to do the same thing, be one of the greats that they talk about. Any more, any more, one more? Uh, you changed your name, right? Last name? Yes, sir. Why was that important to you? Uh, it was really important to me because my stepdad, he's really stepped up in my life, so I wanted to take pride in his last name. So 